In this video, I'm going to show you how to display WP form entries on front end of your site. In WP form basic version, that is not free version, it's a paid version, the basic version. They let you store entries in database and display in the back end. You can view the entries by going to WP forms and then entries. So th this shows all the submissions that you have. All right, these are the forms and these are the number of submissions they have got. So in case you want to display these entries in front, front end, you can make use of use for WP forms. So for this tutorial, we'll have two plugins that we need. One is WP form basic. Mind it, this, this is not the free version and we need views for WP forms. It has a free version as well as some premium add-ons. I'll go through everything in some of the later videos explaining each add-on and what they do. So once you have both these plugins installed and activated, then go to WP forms and let's create a new form. Let's use a template to speed up the process. All right, so we, we have our form here, save it. Now we are going to add this form to a page. Let's create a new page. Okay, so let's give it a test contact form and add WP forms here. Okay, so we have our form on the page. Let's do some form submission so that we have entries for this particular form. Let's do another submission so that we have couple of entries for testing. Now go to the backend W forms and go to entries to confirm that we have these entries stored in there. So we have two entries and th this is the data that we submitted. It's time to show these entries to the front end. For that, we'll go to WP forms and click on add new. Contact form view. This is the title of the view. It won't show anywhere in the front end. So then the next option is to select the view source. So view source basically contains your, all the forms that you have on your site. We'll select simple contact form. Once you have selected the form, it will automatically load a, a lot of settings. So uh, then we have the option to select the view type, whether we want to show the entries in a table list or data table format. For this video, we'll go with table format. Then we have theme under the view layout. We have two options. One option is for the multiple entries and one the other one is for single entry multiple entries basically will list all your entries whereas single entry will show the details of that particular entry so let's add a column here and add a field this will show at the top of you know multiple entries let's say we want to show search in the entry list field, we'll all add all the details that we show in, want to show in the front end of the multiple entry view. Let's add name, email, and sequence number. Move the sequence number to be the very first field. Then like once you have shown all the entries, after entries, we'll show entries count. All right, so then we have, you know, some settings like how many entries we want to show on multiple entries page, things like this. Let's go ahead and publish this view. Once you publish this view, you need to copy this short code. And let's create a page. Contact form submissions view and we'll add that shortcode here 
and pub we are going to publish this let's view the yeah so you see all the entries that are in the backend are showing here as well so it, it, it is this easy with views for WP forms thanks for watching